What is up guys? In this video I'm going to show you the five things you need to hold your handstand. And we're gonna go right into it. The first thing you need is practice at a handstand variation that you're comfortable with. There are probably way more handstand variations than you think. There's the freestanding one, the straight bar one, the parallel bar one. There's handstand canes, rings, the slack line, partner handstand and way more. Just because you're good at one variation, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be good at the other ones. Although they do have carryover, you probably need to practice each variation first before you're gonna have it consistent. And while getting good at as many handstand variations as possible is great, I recommend that you choose one variation first that you're comfortable with. Once you're capable of one handstand variation, that's gonna give you some confidence for the other one. But for this video, all you need is one good variation. The best place to start is the freestanding handstand and the handstand on parallel bars. All right, the second part is a solid setup to enter your handstand. So you don't just teleport into your handstand, you gotta get there somehow. And again, you actually have quite a lot of options here. You can do the standard kick up, the jump up, you can do an actual jump, a handstand press, planche press, or even back handspring into it. Fucking hell no. Not that I'm very capable of that. Don't let that distract you too much though. At first, choose an easy setup and work on making that reliable and consistent. At first, I would recommend the simple kick up, the jump up, or the handstand press. The latter can actually be the most fun and reliable to enter a handstand. But a simple kick up will do for now. In another video, I'll explain how to get that one right, if you're still struggling a bit. And trust me, a lot of people do. The third is core strength. So what is better for holding a handstand? A relaxed core or a tight core? You already know the answer, it's the tight core. But why is that exactly? So if we try to balance a stick on our hands and we choose a tight stick, or a loose stick, then you'll quickly find out that balancing the loose stick is pretty much impossible. And the same physics apply to your handstand. So always flex your core hard when you do the handstand. Focus on it first, until you got it. Training your core on a regular basic is a game changer as well, so that's definitely worth it. And will help you in your handstand. Number four, shoulder and upper body strength and stamina. Holding a handstand does require some upper body strength, but you can get that very fast by doing handstands on a wall, and even better with your face to the wall. That will strengthen all the muscles for you to have zero problems holding a freestanding handstand for longer periods of time. If strength is an issue for you, train that twice a week, until it isn't. And most importantly, number five, and that is using your wrists as stabilizers. So, your wrists are the primary way to gain balance in the handstand. The main two ways you will fall is forwards and backwards. Now let's take a look at the floor handstand. If you fall forwards, you counterbalance by pushing your fingers into the floor. If you fall backwards, you counterbalance by pushing your palms into the floor. Now if you try that a couple of times, you will soon realize that counterbalancing by pushing your palms into the floor is way harder than with your fingers. If you're in this position right here, you can press with your palms all you want. You will just push yourself up instead of counterbalancing. So what you've got to do is stay in a range where you can counterbalance just as much with your palms as with your fingers. You do get a feeling for that pretty quick. But that's why many people say that it's easier to do a handstand on parallel bars, since you can always grip the bars. You won't be as limited in the range. If your P-bars are solid, you can just force yourself into balance using grip strength. Now in contrast to the floor handstand, your hands move sideways instead of forwards and backwards. So there are different muscles involved. So that means to learn a handstand on parallel bars, you will need to acquire new muscle memory, which will take repetition. But to get back to the topic, if you notice your wrists as a weak point in your handstand, here are two things how you can improve it. First is to strengthen the responsible muscles. For that I personally do finger curls with a barbell. 
but you can also use a dumbbell. I'm personally a very big fan of the finger curls, but the bodyweight exercises will work as well. Now if you want to strengthen the muscles that you'll use in a parallel bar handstand, you can actually do a strongman exercise, which is called the sledgehammer levering. And here you hold a hammer or a long stick in your hand and you let it down slowly and then you pull it back up. You can do that in both directions. But I'ma be honest, I've never seen anyone specifically train for that. And I personally only do the finger curls and that's enough for me. Now let's talk about the second way you can improve using your wrists in the handstand. And that is increasing the reaction time. Now what the hell does that mean? Well, if your body tilts out of balance, how long does it take you to realize that and then to counterbalance? The better your feeling gets in the handstand and the faster you adjust, the easier it's gonna be. You won't be doing these big adjustments no more where your body swings from one side to the other. No, it will be many micro adjustments. And you can get to the point where you won't even notice any counterbalancing movements from your body. Kind of like when you're standing on your feet. You just will be standing solidly. But that takes a little bit of time and practice. Bonus tip, work on your form. Some people think that a banana handstand is easier than a regular handstand with good form. But in fact, it isn't. Now, some people may ask, why can I not do a handstand with good form if it isn't in fact harder than the banana handstand? I'll give you two reasons. First, your body may not know what it feels like to be in the correct position. To fix this, find a wall and do a handstand on it with your belly facing the wall. Now press all of your body towards it and that's a perfect handstand. Now if you hold this position for longer periods of time and you do multiple sets with it, your freestanding handstand will soon adapt and your body will be perfectly straight. But if you still have problems with this, shoulder flexibility might be a B issue, which is the second reason. Now, if you don't know whether or not that's the case, find yourself again a wall, lift your arms up and lift them away from the wall. Now, if you can do this for 10 seconds plus and you have an easy time with it, then you probably don't have an issue. But if you do, try this stretch. All right, you should have everything you need now. If you notice a weakness, work on it. And a consistent handstand will soon be yours. All right, I believe in you, see you next time.